It's exactly 2 a.m. on uh, Wednesday, July 26th, and I just left a voicemail for the Greenville group about five minutes ago regarding the fact that I'm lying here on my bed quietly trying to sleep and have been since about 12.40 a.m. after I got back to the building right around like 12.25, and uh, the psychopath slash sex offender slash cyber criminal named Jasmine Irizarry immediately started using her remote controlled stun gun device on me while I was in the process of trying to get ready for bed, changing out of my clothes, et cetera, et cetera. So I had to turn off the lights and finish getting ready in the dark. And she continued to stun gun me while I was taking off my clothes and changing into my pajamas. She's a psychotic sex offender. So anything that I do in this unit that she can see, which is pretty much everything as far as I can tell, um, elicits a aggressively psychotic, agitated response from her end. So either she sits in the bathroom of Unit 78 that's directly behind the wall of my kitchen sink, and she psychotically and agitatedly propagates all kinds of foul-smelling chemical fumes and odors of um, ru burning rubber, uh, marijuana, rotting cigars, burning trash, all kinds of foul odors that fill my living space and require me to keep the window wide open even in the middle of the night. Or then she goes to town with her remote controlled stun gun device, um, which is not science fiction. These kinds of devices are commercially available on self-defense websites. Um, even Amazon sells remote controlled stun guns. So she uses this type of device at close range um, while I'm doing certain things in my unit, but not others. And she usually gets really psychotically agitated when I take my clothes off or do anything that is remotely personal or private, right? Like blowing my nose or scratching my armpit, things like that. But she's a sex offender. So they get all psychotically agitated. Um, if you, you know, it's your big toe, they see that as somehow, um, you know, fodder for their perversions. So this person is very mentally disturbed. And while I'm lying here on my bed trying to rest, she is psychotically stun gunning me. And this is extremely dangerous. Um, it's making it hard for me to breathe, actually, which is why I've had to uh, open the shade and, and the window. And again, I just had to leave a voicemail for the Greenville group because she is literally going to town with her stun gunning device. And she seems to stop the stun gunning when I stop lying on my back and turn over on my side. But it's always when I'm lying on my back facing the ceiling, which makes me think that there's some kind of a surveillance device on the ceiling above my bed. And if that's the case, then whoever put it there is really sick and twisted. But then again, I just found out today by speaking to a legal expert that the Greenville Group specializes in renting to sex offenders and other types of career criminals who are mentally disturbed. So this isn't me making up stories. This isn't me imagining anything. It is a verifiable fact that the Greenville Group rents to sex offenders primarily. That's who they cater to. So I just found that out today. So that confirms everything that I've been saying in these videos. And Ms. J. Irizarry is apparently quite a malignant sex offender, but she's part of a group. It's not just her. It's a psychotic, violent thug directly below in 76 who makes violent banging noises whenever I try to use my toilet or whenever I try to wash my boobs when I'm in the shower. Um, it's the creep across the street who's who for years has been screaming at me um, based on what I do in the privacy of this unit. He usually gets really psychotic and shouty whenever I use the toilet in my bathroom. Um, it, it's these psychotic, complete low-life, bottom-feeding sex offenders that are all feeding off of what they can see and hear me doing in the privacy of my unit. Um, it's not me. I'm not making this up. This is what's happening. This is a fact. And it's been confirmed by a legal expert who told me the Greenville Group works with agencies who try to house sex offenders and other types of psychotic, mentally disturbed psychopaths and criminals. So what I'm reporting in these videos is fact. It's not fiction. And some type of remote capacity stun gun device, again, is fact, not fiction. And it's happening now while I'm lying on my bed at 2 a.m., minding my own business and trying to sleep.